What's up, fam? Hey, I'm gonna do a video today. This is like a little personal one that I dealt with growing up. But I'm gonna title this. What'd you say I should title it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this joke. <laughs> Knowledge was, on worldwide culture. That's cool. Knowledge on worldwide culture. You know, dealing with different cultures. You know? So we're gonna remember that. Knowledge on worldwide cultures. Now, before we get into that, as usual, Hit that subscribe button, share, like, and comment. As I always say, we love putting out positive videos that you can actually watch with advocate your family. Advocate. Yeah. <laughs> Our videos. That was the last video. We used that word advocate. Today, the word of the day, we're going to say inadvertently, but I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to get to it. Now, the reason we're doing this knowledge of worldwide history is when you're dealing with so many different cultures, and you know nothing about it. Sometimes we say we inadvertently say offensive things. Not knowing that can hurt. Yeah. Somebody now remember, the word inadvertently means to not intentionally do or say something that could be offensive. You don't do it intentionally, mm -hmm. so that's what inadvertently would mean. So, like I said, I'd love to give y'all word of the day. So today is inadvertently. But anyway, let's talk about me dealing with different cultures. Now, I remember as a little little kid growing up. You know, as a little elementary kid, all the way up to, I'm going to say, about the fifth grade. All I, I mean, of course, we knew white people, black people, black people, white people, whatever the case. But in the neighborhoods that I grew up in, in New Brunswick and Elizabeth and neighborhoods I went, it's North, commonly. whatever, only two people I always had interactions were black people and Puerto Ricans. Oh. That's it. That's all I knew. Black people and Puerto Ricans. That sounds crazy, though. That's the, uh, the school that I went to. It was only black people and Puerto Ricans. As a kid, that's all I knew. Of course, like I said, I knew white people was here and there, but around people I knew, and all my friends were black and Puerto Rican. All the kids in school, black and Puerto Rican. So the crazy thing, the the the, the shock that I got is when I went to when I moved uptown. And I talked about this in one of our other videos, uh, um, countering the conspiracy to destroy black boys. That was a great video. That's one of my favorite videos. Check it out, family. It is kind of long, but I trust me when I it's tell you, it. it's worth every bit of watch. I think it's about 55 minutes. It's a great video. And it's another personal encounters that I've been through that would be very helpful for you guys out there. So now I'm going to get back to what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I... Came up to the sixth grade and I moved uptown with my older sister. She took custody of me, you know, because my mom's died when I was a young age and I lived with my uncle and all that. Then we moved out of there and I moved when my sister wanted to take custody of me. So, custody of me. And she did. And I moved uptown. Now, this was a whole different thing. When I went to the school uptown, I went to a school now where it was, it was all right. different type of people. It was no longer what I only knew, Puerto Rican and black. Now, I remember I used to constantly go through stuff like, I remember I got cool with this uh, dude named Edward, let's just say. He was Colombian. And I remember when he told me, I remember I used to hear him speaking Spanish and all this. So what did I inadvertently say that was offensive to him? I was like, yo, man, what's your background? You you Puerto Rican? And he was like, no, man, I ain't no Puerto Rican. See, he inadvertently was saying to me, it sounded like he being offensive, like, man, screw Puerto Rican. <laughs> but, it went, but what it was was, He's looking at me like how ignorant I am. And remember, ignorant does not mean stupid. It means you don't know. That's another one of our videos. Just go to Sphinx for Integrity and type up the word ignorant. You'll love that video. Very informative. But yeah, when I said to him, you Colombian, I was like, what's that like? Uh, that's like that's like Puerto Rican, right? <laughs> and he was like, what? man, that ain't got nothing to do with Puerto Rican, man. You sound stupid. Man, you ignorant, man. I'm like, Wait, man, so when he said that, what was your first like? I was like, yo, man, what you talking about, man? I'm just saying, you speak Spanish, you so you must be Puerto Rican. He said, man, everybody not Puerto Rican. And I did the same dumb jump when I came across uh, one of my other buddies named Walter. He was El Salvadorian. And he used to speak Spanish. And I said the same dumb jump. I was like, yo, El Salvador, what's that? You didn't learn from the first time? I was like, yo, that's, because all I thought... They speak Spanish. I know Puerto Ricans speak Spanish. Now, so I was like, El Salvador, that's like a part in Puerto Rico or something like that. It's like, no, man, why Why do you think everybody Puerto Rican? It was almost as if I was taking like, yo, but why you act like you hate Puerto Rican? <laughs> like, I'm sticking up for Puerto Rican. And I'm like, yo, why you talk like you? It's like, no, anybody don't couldn't say nothing against Puerto Rican. It just said, damn, man, just because somebody speaks Spanish don't mean that they're all Puerto Rican. Okay. 
But how about the ignorance that they would say towards me? These same cats I went to school with, I remember they would say silly stuff. Now, I'm going back in the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. I had the high top fade, fade. I remember they would say the silliest things to me to wipe. I remember the Portuguese guy, Rui. I remember he said so his name was Rui Rodriguez. But he had the S on the end, not the Z, like Spanish people. You know what I'm talking about, right, babe? Yeah. So I was like, Rodriguez? Oh, he must be Puerto Rican, too. It's <laughs> like, yo, this guy think everybody Puerto Rican. He ignorant, right? So I was like, oh, man, forget y'all, man. But I remember they said ignorant stuff to me as I'm a, I'm a black man. Black boy, black teenager at the time. I remember I had the high top fade. I remember these clowns, um, the Portuguese friends would say to me, Yo, man, hey, Springs, man, yo, how you get your hot top fade, fade like that? What kind of gel you put in your hair? I was like, what? We put no gel in our hair. What are you talking about, man? Y'all stupid. He said, man, come on, man, you lying, man. Because, yo, I got this uh, such and such, the grease, the grease such and such. It's this gel, it hardens up, and that's how I get my fade. I was like, yo, man, our hair grow to the sun, man. Our stuff is natural. What are you talking about? Y'all stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, you, you Portuguese jokers. Yo, you El Salvadorian, you Colombians. Yo, y'all dumb. I was just dumb because I'm saying, what are you talking about? I don't even use no gel. I remember one time as a class trip, we went um, to a pool. And when we went to the pool, my friends um, James and Walton, them, me and my buddy Dow, we both black, and James was Colombian. James, you know James. Corn dog. He, he was Colombian yeah. and walked to his El Salvador. They caught a, a real hot tan, right? Now, remember, I'm young and ignorant, meaning don't know, not stupid. They caught a, a burn tan, right? And when I when we approached, because we was all cool. When I approached them, right, I was like, yo, what's up, James? What's going on? He's like, ah, ah, man, come on, man, don't do that. I was like, yo, what's your problem, man? He's like, yo, come on, man, I got a sun tan, man. I was like, suntan? What the heck is that? He's like, yo, come on, man. You don't know suntan. That's not acting stupid. Sunburn. Sunburn. I got sunburn. He said, what kind of what kind of suntan lotion you use? I'm like, really? I was like, what? Suntan lotion? Yeah, some Once people again, got, some people got walk, sensitive skin. Yeah. Yeah. Me and my boy down, we was like, <laughs> suntan? Yo, these joke is crazy. Yo, man, I'm just natural. Boy. We don't need no suntan lotion. Look at these jokes. He's like, yo, man, but don't, don't be hitting me like that because it burns. I was like, what? So you mean to tell me if somebody touch your skin, it hurts because of a suntan, a sunburn? He's like, yeah, man, so stop doing it. So you know me. Always when he said don't do it, I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yo, come on, man, please. Stop doing that. And I was like, yo, you so you mean to tell me? Blood. And then one of my white boy friends, the same thing. He was all red like a lobster. And he, well, he was from like Poland or something. And I was like, yo, you turned red as hell. When we came here, you was white as snow. Now you look like a lobster. You red as hell, right? And he was like, so since Jason told me it hurt them, as soon as I seen the Polish dude, I did the same thing. I was like, yo, man, so how's everything? He's like, ah, come on, man. What's wrong with you, you stupid? <laughs> and I was like, yo, but see, these are all things I was learning about okay. different cultures. I didn't know. People uh, uh, that get tans, burnt, sunburn, if you you didn't have the melanin like we got, it burnt them. I didn't know that. They was upset with me, and they inadvertently was <laughs> upset that I didn't know that. And I was I was inadvertently upset with them that they were saying stupid stuff to me, like, what kind of gel you put in your hair for a flat top? We don't need no gel. What kind of suntan and lotion you put on? We don't put on suntan lotion. You know, all these ignorant stuff. <laughs> but there's a lot of people out there that, went through these same type of things, you understand what I'm saying? Where they don't know. And so they're, they're ignorant to these things, like I was. Remember, ignorant means you don't know. It does not mean you're stupid. It does not mean stupid. And so that's why I say, even in this world today, do you see how a lot of people, as soon as they see a lot of Spanish people, wherever, right away, now what is the most racist, stupid, ignorant thing people say? Oh, they Mexican. Mm -hmm. They think everybody Mexican now. And that's when, rude. When that's rude, everybody's not Mexican. But this is what people do. You know, it's like, I remember another ignorant thing I used to do when I was a young and dumb fool, whatever. Any Asian person I would see, I would be like, oh, they're Chinese. Oh, he's Chinese. Oh, they're Chinese. They're Chinese. And I'm being offensive as heck. <laughs> see how foolish I was being? I apologize yeah. to y'all for that outfit when I was acting like that. But anyway... But then I learned you have age, you have Chinese, you have Japanese, you have Korean, 
You have Thai. You, the the you proper word for it is Asian. Thank you. I remember I had to tell y'all that. Because remember, y'all yeah, did that. I used that. to say that all the they time. They used to oh, call everybody Chinese. Chinese. And I said, look, look, like, don't do the that. The proper is, oh, If, if you don't know what they is, the you correct, just say Asian. That yeah. covers it all. You know what I mean? But a lot of us have done foolish things like that. And that's why I just wanted to touch on this video. Because I knew it had a little humor to it, too. Because like I said, what kind of gel you use for your flat top fade? Man, mm. get out of here. No, no. What kind of suntan lotion y'all use? Man, well, you know suntan. Don't touch me with my... Ah! <laughs> but it's all kind of silly stuff like that. And, and I could go on and on with this. And I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with what I'm talking about, too. When we were young and dumb or we were ignorant to other cultures mm -hmm. as the title. See, I forgot what you're going to type. I was going to say knowledge on worldwide culture. Knowledge on worldwide culture. There you go. Because once you get out and you travel and you see other cultures, you taste other foods, you see mm -hmm. their history, you see how sometimes a lot of history touch back on your history. Or you see their way they dress, the stuff they eat. It's, it's uh, good to expand. Yes, and you get knowledge of self and you get knowledge of others as well when you do these mm -hmm. things. It's a great thing. So on that note, in closing, what I would say is open yourself up to other cultures. Don't be afraid. And, yeah, other knowledge, travel, and learn more than what's just in your tiny little circle. Mm -hmm. What would you say in closing? We kind of stole all my information, I was going to say, but... Yeah, it's good to just expand your horizon. It's just like even a simple thing like back to what my job like. Mm -hmm. I never heard of certain towns that I do deliver and now stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I just, it doesn't have to do with culture, but that's just expanding my yeah. my knowledge as to like different Start places, in different bubble. areas, and yeah. so. So on that on that note, we're gonna let y'all go. Peace.